<laughs> Be yeah, as annoying as you can. For. Yes. That's what she was hoping for. <laughs> Just got to get them out of the habit. I remember my dad saying, once they eat them, you can't break them of it. But we shall see. See if it works, because... I'm in the learning process. And there's the heater and the fan. And let's try it overnight and see what happens. See how warm it is in there. Ooh, we just had another earthquake. And good morning, Mapo fans. I am going shopping. Senior day. <laughs> so we're going out there. Let's see what today brings. The post office said you would probably even get your Saturday uh, last, you know, Saturday. So you should have got it by now. Hope nobody stole it. Wow. Ah, they got their Easter basket. Looks <laughs> like so I had a rough time so, yes, getting I think there. I was sitting there yesterday. I didn't see it. I got it open. <laughs> Taylor. Happy Easter. Love, Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah, <laughs> she goes, yeah, get rid of the note. Is there names on them? No. Oh. You're supposed to hide them. That's yeah, all right. That's fun opening it like say? that. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. I got it. So thanks for sending that. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, fruit kind. by the foot. You guys like that? They like fruit by the foot. Grandma said MC she thought tomb. it would be fun if you lit the air out. Like, make, yeah, make noise with the balloons together. Like this. Yeah, yes, like that. <laughs> that's what I want them to do. <laughs> be yeah, as annoying as you can. For. Yes. That's what she was hoping for. <laughs> that's what I was hoping for. See how annoying that is? See, they're loving that. Is that what you wanted, Mom? Yes. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Graham, look how big the balloon got. Oh my goodness. This thing is huge. That's Bam, pretty good. My head. <laughs> Almost half my body. <laughs> I gotta run. I get some chicken feed. You'd think they'd be full after eating all their eggs. So I gotta run and do that, and I'm so sad that my tomato plants uh, froze in the tri in the greenhouse. I thought they would survive in there because it's just too cold. Oh well. And I'm at Intermountain Farmers, and they have tomato plants. I wonder if I should buy some more now. They just keep them in the house. I'm not sure. They have a greenhouse. I should ask them, say, how do you keep your greenhouse warm? I'm new at this greenhouse stuff. And here's their greenhouse. How come theirs not freezing? I don't see a heater in here. I think I'll get some plants. So she says that is a heater. So I would have to put a heater in the greenhouse. Okay, got some more plants, chicken feed, oyster shells. I'm good to go. And I do have a propane heater. I guess I have to heat my greenhouse. Didn't know that. Okay, I have this old fan. I have a propane heater. You know, if I can, if this heater works, I can start the plants anytime I want. Right? Oops, that's my propane heater back there. Get that out. Get an extension cord. And we're good to go. Now I've got these oyster shells. Let's see if that'll stop them from eating the eggs. Just got to get them out of the habit. I remember my dad saying, once they eat them, you can't break them of it, but we shall see. Okay, this is an old propane heater I have and a fan, old fan that makes a bunch of noise, an extension cord, and let's see, I'll pull those out. Stir up the dirt with my mixer person guy thinger and plug this in and see if it'll work. Apparently, I don't know too much about greenhouses. I planted this time last year and nothing froze. So let's see if it works. And I did buy new seeds that I know are not outdated because I'm curious why those didn't start. Those 
the other ones the corn did fine okay let's plant those I got this potting soil opened up let's get some in here and I have this garden soil miracle grow because this dirt I have back here the tomatoes grew way big but they didn't produce much so I'm gonna try mixing some good dirt here and then plant those tomatoes I got those ready to plant got the dirt poured on just got to stir it up a bit and I put those two that I think will survive in these pots I'll keep them up here see that's still good that leaf and this leaf is still good the rest is frozen so I'm gonna keep those up here and let's get these planted see if it works because I'm in the learning process okay I got everything planted and we shall see and I'm just using this tool it twists and this is really good to dig up those uh, ivies these these plants they grow down under there cause so much trouble and they're really hard to get out but this one just twists them right out it just does a really good job and I want the pumpkins because the kids like to go pick their own and if I don't grow them I have to buy them uh, now let's get the heater set up oh and I have uh, let those potatoes sit out a little bit that had the sprouts on them I'll plant those along here so I have some potatoes, some tomatoes in my greenhouse. That's quite the wor uh, workout. You never hear a farmer after he gets done farming say, boy, I better get my workout done today. <laughs> it's already a workout. And just heard from the governor, Governor Herbert, that school will not uh, convene until, not come back till, all right, puppies, be quiet till August. Wow, it dug up some good ones. These are really hard to get out. To dig a little bit longer there. Whew, hey kitty. Yeah, I'm gonna try these three plants. If they survive the night, then I will plant the rest. I will put the heater in and a fan. See what happens. And there's the heater and the fan. And let's try it overnight and see what happens. I gotta get dressed for the day. Sew some masks. Turn that fan on. Got the heater on. Let's see. I don't even know if this thing works. Well, we'll find out. And I only need it at night when it's freezing cold. Then I'll have to, use, have to use a heater, but I might keep the fan in there to keep the air circulating. I don't know. We shall see. I think I'll keep these guys in here overnight because I don't want them to freeze. Watermelon, uh, cucumber, this one. Oh yeah, cucumbers, some flowers. Okay, they said, the lady at Intermountain Farmer said it, her greenhouse stays about 70 degrees. And so it's going to get down to 31 degrees tonight and tomorrow. So I'm going to go out. I got a thermometer I'm going to put out there and see what the temperature is. So I can kind of monitor it and see how it's doing out there. It's been, it's been out there running for about an hour. I got this thermometer out of the fridge. Let's put it in there. See how warm it is in there. So yeah, put a thermostat in there and we'll check it. Yeah, I had to unplug the, the heater in the greenhouse because the it kept flipping the circuit. So that's a bad cord. I've got to go get another cord. And I just planted the three. So I wrapped a, little, a towel around each of them to keep them warm and I got the others in the house. So tomorrow I'll go get a long cord and we'll try this again. Ooh, we just had another earthquake. I think that was a three something. We were just out watching TV all of a sudden and started shaking an earthquake. It's just so crazy. And we got a chat going on Facebook. The people in the neighborhood, they said it was a 4.2 and or 4.8. Boy. Yeah, it shook, but it was really short. It scared me. It's going, oh. But then it was over and you go, oh. <laughs> it says we've had six in the last 24 hours. I've kind of felt things kind of moving, but it, I kind of thought, well, I don't think that's it. But I felt that one crazy. 
And I've got these plants in here and I got them on the cookie sheet so I can water them. I'm just going to keep them safe in here till I can get another uh, cord. And I've got the three that I planted out there wrapped uh, with a towel. So hopefully they'll be all right. That earthquake kind of scared me, you know. You just never know when it, uh, what's going to happen. I didn't see any pictures, Cricket. It shook quite a bit. It looks like they're okay. That's how I can tell <laughs> pictures. <sighs> so I could, should end the blog and I got to so I'm trying to, I'm doing a goal of 50 a day. I've got 20 done here. There's 30 in each bag. He's going to pick up tomorrow. Pick up 50. Hopefully I can get 50 done. Uh, i got 20 done. Takes me about an hour to do 15, I think is what my goal is. So I've got a couple more hours work that he's going to pick up tomorrow. I think I'll sew an hour and a half before I go to bed. And I'll close with a quote. It says, it makes a big difference in your life when you stay positive. It's true. Positively, positivity is positively amazing. <laughs> no, it, uh, when you're positive, it, it does make a difference. It, it helps your whole system and it's hard to say stay, stay positive because you because the negative is hard to fight off but it is possible well let's see what tomorrow brings thanks for liking commenting and subscribing i'm looking for see if anything's crooked maybe our house is getting used to being shook i don't know and let's see what tomorrow brings and let's look for that rose thank you and good night let's check check on the chickens out here <laughs> it's kind of scary at night. There's always a cat that runs. Okay, they've got their light on. I think the cats come and sit. Sit by the light. Is everybody all tucked in, huh? Looks like they're all tucked in. Got the light going. Okay, everybody's all tucked into bed. So, good night all.